Today we're gonna give you a review of the CS590, otherwise known as the Timberwolf from Echo. Uh, you'll notice this one has an aftermarket bar on it. It's a 24-inch bar. Uh, we did we had the 20-inch on it when we bought it. We uh, actually bent the bar only because of my mistake, not because of the sauce problem. So it's 24-inch. Uh, we did do the muffler mod. I'll show you that. Uh, I'll talk a little about that later. Um, just there's things to be aware of the muffler mod. To show you the muffler mod, basically you just take, I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but there's a baffle in there. And yeah, you can see the baffle's gone. I left the screen in there, that's a spark arrestor. So, but that's the muffler mod. Uh, before you do a muffler mod, there's really a couple things to think about. You avoid your warranty if it's under warranty. You're going to have to richen up the carburetor, most likely. Um, usually you're going to give up a little idle quality, because you got to because you lose that back pressure to make it scavenge correctly, but you will gain top end. So with these new carburetors, that means you have to take the plastic limiters on the screws out. So don't just do a muffler mod because you see on the internet. Do it if you think you need a little more top end power. Um, I, that's why we got the 24 inch bar. It cuts cuts like a beaver on rabies at the moment. So we'll do see if we can get some action shots for you. Okay, now for some action shots. Been oiled. The field. Seems about as loose as I want it. In review, I like the saw. I would buy it again. I have a couple different saws because this is the saw I use when I'm just cutting like firewood type size or bigger stuff. I did hit something in the stump. I don't know if I snagged it. There's a full chisel bar. Probably should have put or full chisel chain. Probably should have put a new one on for the video. This one's getting where it might need a little touched up, but it's still cutting real good. Um, you can see the chips are still real nice and big. Uh, again, CS590 would definitely buy again. It's a little heavy for me to, if I had to use it all day. I actually have a, a little top handle and I have the CS400 and the 490. I really bought the 490 to replace the 400. I'll do a review on that. And then there's my 400. That's just got a little 16 inch bar and a lot of times I'd use it when I'm cleaning up a little brush. Uh, but like I said, the 590, I would buy again. I like the saw. It's always ran good, always started well. And I've had really no issues with it other than self-induced stuff like the bar. When I did the muffler mod, I had to take the plastic limiters off the carb and do some adjustments. But other than that, it's been real good. Thanks for watching.